In this short video we're going to show you how to clean the gears and the chain. But firstly let's zoom in on this dirty chain here and see why we need to keep the chain clean. Lewis is zooming in on a chain which is pretty black. It's got lots of oil on it but the black has picked up metal shavings from the chain and from the gears and if we're using a bike a lot we need to clean those off and all the grit that's picked up on an off-road cycle ride also needs to be cleaned off a chain. A chain takes an immense strain when you're pedaling and it's very important to keep the chain clean and that will help reduce the chances of it snapping when you're cycling uphill. Okay, this is some of the equipment you can use to clean your bike and to uh, clean the chain and the gears. You need some old uh, oily rags. You need some chain cleaner, which is basically citric acid. You can buy it from Halfords or any bike shop. Uh, it's about £10 a, a can. You can get a spray cleaner as well. And if you're out on long uh, cycle rides, lasting a couple of days, you can take small canisters of chain cleaner with you as well. Those who are really into their bikes and uh, want to ensure they do a good job will buy chain cleaners. These are fantastic bits of kit. This is an old one, which is mine. It's bits of it have broken off it. Here's a, a fairly new one. Consists of a, a reservoir and some wheels of brushes inside which clean your chain you've also got various specialized brushes for getting into the derailleur gears and for brushing the chain for those of you who are running on a budget and you don't want to afford all this fancy gear you can use some simple old toothbrushes and old paint brushes and a pot to put some of this chain cleaner in once you've cleaned your chain and gears you need to uh, wash all that dirt off using these sprays these are pretty cheap to buy from B&Q once you've sprayed everything and cleaned all the dirt off you then need to spray your chain and gears with WD-40 to get rid of the water before you let the bike dry and re-oil it okay uh, to start cleaning the chain if you're going to use a chain cleaner these things are about uh, 10 to 20 pounds to buy uh, but we need to put a little bit of bike cleaner into the reservoir. I'm using my old one here, which is partly a bit broken off it. But this is citric acid, which is a kind of concentrated form of lemon juice. And the idea is that you trap the chain between these rotating brushes. Make sure you're wearing old clothes. Once the chain is trapped in the chain cleaner, you back pedal. I have to hold this chain cleaner in position, but if it was new, it would clip onto the back of the derailleur and hold itself in position. After you've done this for a couple of minutes, you can easily see just how dirty the cleaner is and this chain is now starting to clean up very nicely if you're just working with paint brushes and toothbrushes just pour a little bit of chain cleaner into a pot and just paint this on with a brush and you'll do exactly the same job and you'll get exactly the same result. It might take you a little bit longer, but it's just as good. Other things you can do for the gears at the back, you could use the spray, spray onto the gears and use either a toothbrush or some of these specialized brushes to get in between the cogs and clean the dirt out. Chain cleaner and an old toothbrush is a great way to clean up these jockey gear wheels and to get all the grime from the mechanism in the rear derailleur. And although it looks dirty, once this is sprayed with clean water, this will look as if it's brand new.
you'll soon find that your bike begins to look even dirtier than it did before. But here's where the magic bit comes in. When you start to use some compressed water to wash all this dirt off, you'll find your bike will start to look as good as new again. None of this equipment is very expensive, but it certainly keeps an expensive bike in good condition and reduces your chances of having failed equipment when you're out on the run. Remember, when you're spraying the rear derailleur gears, don't get water inside this cassette where the bearings are, otherwise you'll need new bearings. And before you run out of water, just remember to clean up all your cleaning gear, so it's ready to be packed away. Now, just get a cloth and dry off as much of that water as possible. You'll be surprised just how clean this comes up. And what we should do now before we oil the gears and the chain, we need to get rid of all the water. And this is where some WD-40 comes in. WD-40 will help to get rid of the water, disperse the water. We'll give the chain and gears another wipe down. Give the chain a last clean up. Let's have a close look at the condition of this chain now. We see it's gone from black to silver and that's a very quick clean in just 10 and 15 minutes and lastly when this is completed remember spray oil onto all the moving parts of your chain and your gears before you put your bike away in the garage and remember Use a cloth and clean the oil off the rims. If you don't, your brakes won't work as well as they should be. You may also want to clean up the rims with a dry cloth, get them all nice and shiny. And when you finish this, it's really a great job done. There are two last checks that you have to do relating to the steering of the bike. And the first one is to stand astride the front wheel and trap the front wheel in between your ankles, knees and thighs and try and turn the handlebars. They shouldn't move at all. These are quite firm. If they do move, you need to tighten this bolt in here. What are you smirking at? <laughs> Just the cat. Just like, oh, yeah. Hello Whiskey! <laughs> <laughs> Was he on there? If this head bolt is loose and your handlebars are free to turn independently of the wheel then on an off-road situation you may end up hitting a rock and your wheel goes one way and your handlebars go the other way. I have seen that happen to a certain Andrew Wiseman when he was an Explorer Scout. His front wheel went one way and his handlebars went the other way and he ended up in the ditch. Very amusing. <laughs> These are the headset bearings and they help connect the forks to the frame and allow you to smoothly turn your bike without being too tight. To test them, apply the front brake and try and rock your bike backwards and forwards. If there's any rattling coming in here, you need to have that adjusted. 
and get a specialist to do it. Out of all the quick safety checks that we've done in these latest videos, firstly, we've established that we've got the seat at the right height. Uh, we've then made sure that our tyre pressures are sufficient, that the tread is in good condition and that the side wall of the tyre is okay. Uh, we've made sure that the brakes at the front and the back are in good condition and are uh, contacting the rims of the wheels. We've made sure that the chain is cleaned and oiled and the gears are oiled. And lastly, we've checked that the handlebars and the forks are firmly attached to each other and that there's no play in the motion between the handlebars and the front wheel. Hey, whiskey. Hello.